how to get better at talking to women. Coming to you straight from the Irish Sea. You can't see it, but maybe you can hear it. Today I have a couple of super valuable tips for you that you're gonna be able to implement straight away to get better in your communication with women. Two main points that I wanna share with you today. Number one, quantity. If you wanna get better at anything, you'll have to put in the reps. You couldn't possibly expect to become great at basketball if you never practice free throws. How could you expect to become a top level UFC fighter martial artist without practicing hours and hours and hours on end beforehand in the gym? Now, the good thing is, if you want to find an amazing girlfriend or life partner, you don't have to practice for 10 years. You don't have to put in an inhuman amount of work, but you do have to put in some amount of work. And if you want to get better at talking to women, guess what you'll have to do? Talk to women. So what you have to do this week is use Google Calendar. If you're a weirdo, then maybe Outlook, not trying to be judgmental here, use Google Calendar and block yourself time in the calendar to actually go out there and meet women. That can be three a day, two times a week, 10. You should be approaching at least 10 to 20 new women per week in a respectful way. Obviously, there's technical skills that you'll have to master, that you have to study, but the base assumption, the base premise is that you start taking action. Now, where can you meet women? You can go to shopping malls. You can go to bars and nightclubs. You can go to the gym. You can go to shopping streets. You can go to Whole Foods. Wherever there's women, you have a chance to meet them. The most important thing is your mindset. And the first component of that is to understand that meeting women in your everyday life is the most normal thing on earth. Your grandfather probably at some point approached your grandmother. The only reason you're able to listen to this video right now, the only reason you've come into existence is because countless of men, countless of your male ancestors have approached the female side. How else do you think human beings have procreated? Nowadays, where everybody's sitting on their phones, staring at the screens, watching high quality YouTube, TikTok or Instagram content, hopefully we're so distracted, we're taught that it's a strange thing to go and work on your social skills. But you have to understand, that if you're a man with a successful career or your own business, then you're probably spending a fair amount of your day-to-day -day in front of a laptop or a computer, in business meetings, writing code, whatever it is that you're doing. You're not really out there meeting a lot of people and how are you supposed to get good at something if you don't practice it? I want you to, and now we transition into the next point, not just go get out there to start talking to women, but I want you to talk to everybody. When you're standing at the till at Whole Foods and you're paying, ask the person behind the till, hey, how's your day going? Busy day. And have a 20 second interaction and contribute a little bit of positivity. Now you might say, David, what could this person possibly have to offer me? It's not about that. It's about connecting to another human right now. That person doesn't have to become your new best friend, but can you offer a little bit of kindness? Can you offer a little bit of positivity? And this is not just selfless, it's also selfish. Because if you have these positive points of interactions with random people throughout your day-to-day -day life, you will start feeling at home in this world. Part of my mission in this world is to help people feel at home. And the only way for you to feel at home in this world is to connect to other people. Because what can sometimes happen when we're so caught up in our head is that we perceive other people to be our enemies. If we don't speak to them, they see you a little bit serious. You pass them by in the office. Okay, if you work for the same company, if they're maybe even your employees, that's a different story. But if you don't engage with human beings out there and you only view people through the lens of the media, you think that everybody's a bad person. But if you go out there and actually meet people, wow, you realize there's a fair amount of decent and kind people out there. Now, the people who are actually gonna make it into your inner circle, men as well as women, you're gonna qualify much harder. But I'd like to extend the following invitation to you. Start talking to people everywhere. If you go to the gym, have a 30 second to a 90 second interaction between the woman behind the till. Talk to your Uber driver. Talk to the people that are standing at the bus stop. 
talk to the bouncers, talk to everybody in the club or in the bar, not just the ones that you're super attracted to. Number one, because it'll infuse your brain with oxytocin, dopamine, serotonin, whichever neurotransmitter it may be. I'm not a neuroscientist, I don't pretend to be. But it will infuse you with positivity at a neurological level. If every day, a couple of times, you have these positive interaction points, and sometimes you offer yourself, you offer your own kindness, you offer your own positivity, and it's not reciprocated. And then you can become all cynical, I hate people. Or you can say, well, okay, maybe that person is suffering. Because let's face it, if somebody's not open to a genuine act of kindness, they're probably in a very, very bad spot themselves. So that's the one reason you should do it. The second reason you should talk to people everywhere, offer positivity, offer kindness, offer just yourself, is because you will create a degree of social momentum that's necessary to be able to be excellent in your communication with women. Do you think you're actually going to be able to perform at your best on a date if you haven't been social for the entire rest of the week? Do you actually think that you're going to be able to be your most verbally agile self, your most loose and funny and entertaining and maybe even romantic self if you haven't practiced it at all? Do you think you can just go about business six days a week, 11 hours a day, and then all of a sudden be super entertaining, be able to capture her attention? No, you're not gonna be able to do that. You don't have to spend 20, 30 hours doing it, but dedicate five to eight hours per week to this whole social dynamics thing. If you're serious about finding the right girlfriend or life partner, then you have to be able to dedicate five to eight hours per week to that. If you sleep eight hours a night, which you should, then you have 112 waking hours available to yourself. Five to eight hours going out, meeting 10 to 20 new people, going on the date, talking to people everywhere, getting into a micro social flow within the day, as well as creating macro social momentum. Because you're gonna realize that if you talk to people everywhere for like two weeks, and you approach women in a very respectful way and you study the dynamics of attraction and you learn how to do it properly, you get rid of all the technical details, uh, the technical mistakes you might be making, then you realize, oh wow, it's getting a lot easier. I'm getting into a flow. I'm coming up with witty things to say. I'm not so caught in my head. I'm not overthinking every word that I say. The moment, that's not everything, right? There's a million other techniques that you can use, but this is super powerful. Momentum is absolutely powerful and you can create momentum within the day. When you're on your way to the date, call a friend, call one of your buddies, talk yourself into a flow, use your friend, use him on your way to the date, plan it beforehand, tell him, hey, Robert, I'm gonna call you at 10 to six for a 10 minute conversation when I'm gonna be in the Uber on the way to the date to loosen up. This is super powerful. It's a super practical, powerful piece of advice. And then talk to people everywhere, create that micro momentum within the day and that macro momentum over many weeks and months. Because let's face it, if you wanna want have a high quality relationship to an amazing woman, you have to be willing to invest X amount of months. For some people it takes three weeks, for others it takes seven months. But if you put in the work and you use Google Calendar and you blocked your, block yourself time to meet three new women per day, 10 to 20 women over the course of a week, you will get yourself into a degree of social momentum you've never experienced before. And you'll also realize you're getting happier because you as a human being were made to connect to other people. And not every interaction has to lead somewhere. Yes, obviously, you want to have a clear intention of what your outcome is. Having a high-quality relationship to an amazing woman and finding some high-quality male friends. These high-value men. But at the same time, when you're talking to the person, just be in the moment. Just offer positivity. Just offer flow. And understand that rejection is part of it. Part of it. A rejection is a completely normal part of the process. But understand, that if you offer positivity, if you walk up to a woman in Starbucks, for example, you say, excuse me, have you tried that Frappuccino pumpkin spice latte? I haven't yet. And you use that as an indirect opener, for example, to start a conversation and she's not into you. Well, then it's either because you made mistakes in your communication or there was a lack of compatibility. The only reason you'll ever get rejected is either because of a lack of compatibility, she's just not into you, or you're just not meant for each other. Or, on the other hand, there's an evidently bigger lack of communication skills. In other words, you made mistakes in your communication with her, which can be fixed. So rejection is only ever feedback to improve, or it's just random. 
You will always get rejected and it's completely normal. The one thing, or there's many things that can mess this up for you, but one of the biggest things that can mess this whole socializing thing up for you is if you need the other person's validation. The more you crave the other person's validation, the more you need her to approve of you, the higher the probability that you're going to be stifled in your interaction with her and you're not going to be able to get into a flow and you're going to come across as needy and weird and just weaselly. So instead of approaching somebody, a man or a woman or whoever it may be, and needing her validation, please approve of my existence, please approve of my manlyhood, you just walk up there and you offer positivity and you let the cards for well, they, you let the chips fall where they may. Obviously, you need to improve your skill set. You need to eradicate your blind spots in your communication. Obviously, you have to study that. But in the moment, just be present, just offer positivity, understand that what you have to say has value purely because you're a valuable man and that she's probably going to be curious to see what you have to say because human beings are curious in general. These were a couple of very, very useful pieces of advice. Put them into practice. And if you want me to help you with that personally, if you want me to help you personally, get rid of the blind spots in your communication. If you want me to help you meet amazing women, be that on online dating apps, in real life, to find an amazing, high quality relationship to an amazing woman, simply apply for a free initial consultation call with the link underneath this video. And I'm looking forward to speaking with you very soon. I wish you all the best.